Hello developers and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do the React Logger with some animation and you can find all the codes uh, in the link. I will leave a link in the description box and both for CodeBan and for GitHub. So I have a class named Box. I will have only four colors, a black, a white, a dark gray and a blue one. The body will have a property of background dark grey and a color blue. Also I have a class named box as you saw earlier and the only important thing here is the position which is relative and the border which is red and I'm going to uncomment the red border in the end. But I will leave it uh, for now just to know the right properties for our classes. The first class is going to be inside the box and it will be the center. And then I'm going to have three more classes, ring 1, ring 2 and ring 3. Now the center is going to be just a circle and the position will be absolute. To do a circle you need a border radius of 50%. And then you have to adjust the width and the height according to your outer class, which in our case the outer class is the box one, and you can see that the width and the height accordingly. Now I'm using Zedinix, but you don't have to use it. Uh, there, will no, there won't be any change for this class. As for the ring, I'm going to have a background of blue once again. But you will see that the shape this time is going to be a little bit different. So I change the background to none and here I'm using uh, the Clippy tool and frame from the Clippy tool. If you don't know what Clippy tool is, uh, you can leave me a comment and I can explain to you. But uh, pretty much it helps you make some shapes uh, very very quickly. I will leave also in the description box the link for the Clippy tool so you can do it by your own. I will have a border solid 6 pixel with the color of blue so that's why the background is none. If you are using a uh, Firefox, maybe you can't see very clear what I did here with the Clippy tool. And even if you use border radius, maybe again you won't see it. I also added an animation with Spin Me 1 for the first string and Spin Me 2 for the second string. It has a transform uh, rotation also for 59 degrees. And last but not least, the transformation here will be minus 59 degrees. If you want more information about the animation, you can also leave me a comment and I can do a proper video to explain them better. Now, as for the animation, you have to use uh, at keyframes and then the name of the function. The first one is going to be spin me and I will only use uh, 0, 50 and 100% but you can be more detailed and uh, give some more properties like 20% or 55% and whatever you like. I will have a transform rotate X and only X but it can work for rotate and not only for X. The degrees here is going to be 3060 plus 59 which is equal to 419. You have to do this to have a perfect circle and a little bit more, like the 59 degrees we added. And the same is for the spin 3, it is minus 59. So that's it guys and I hope you like the final result. Thank you very much for watching!